Now this uh, question 100, this is of uh, semiconductor electronics and uh, that too you can say of uh, logic gates. Here uh, a diode has been used. It is says that if in a PN junction a square input signal of 10 volt is applied as shown. Here you have a circuit, a diode is there and this is load resistance RL and you are applying a voltage source which is varying from minus 5 volt to plus 5 volt. So that means for half of the time this diode will be in forward biasing and for half of the time it will be in reverse biasing. Now then the output across RL will be and these are the four options. Now you see if you are applying any value 0 or less than that then it will not be passed on by this diode because that case it will be in reverse biasing. So it is only between 0 to 5 volt for which it will be in forward biasing it will be passing on. Right? This is a simple property or diode you are using it cannot pass in reverse biasing. So the output will be only the positive side of it and that is from 0 to 5 volt. So for that matter the most appropriate option will be this one, this first one from 0 to 5 volt. So I am marking option 1 for the answer of question number 100. Now let us move on to next question that is question 101. Now in this uh, question 101 which is based on conservation of mechanical energy, uh, the question reads that two particles of masses M1 and M2 move with initial velocities U1 and U2. So they have some kinetic energy. On collision one of the particles get excited to higher level. Higher level means uh, it is gaining some other kind of energy after absorbing energy epsilon. So from their initial total kinetic energy this much part will be lessened and that will become their final kinetic energy. So if final velocities of the particles be V1 and V2 then we must have and the options are like this. So you see you have to see that what was the initial kinetic energy that was half M1 U1 square plus half M2 U2 square. Out of that this epsilon energy has been taken out because the body has uh, shifted to some excited level. So whatever options you have here the most appropriate option comes out to be the fourth one because here you see that initial kinetic energy minus this energy of excitation and that becomes the leftover final kinetic energy for these two bodies and that is equal to half m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square. So for this question 101 I will mark the most appropriate option to be the option number 4. Now let us uh, switch over to next question that is question 102. Now in this uh, question 102 which is based on de Broglie wavelength that is matter waves which of the following figures represents the variation of particle momentum that has been indicated by P and the associated de Broglie wavelength that is denoted by lambda. Now what is the standard formula for matter waves that de Broglie expression is P is equal to h by lambda is not it. So here it is something like you are trying to draw an equation y proportional to 1 by x and that comes out to be a rectangular hyperbola and that particular shape will be this kind. This is a standard graphical representation of P and lambda. So I will be marking option 3 for this question number 102. Now switch over to question number 103. 